different scenario where the disposition code is written only. I created one sales order with this item. And the quantity which we told is uh, one each and it's invoice. Okay, before going into the sales return scenario, let's see if I go to the pick and pack, let's see the packing slip. I just want to show the accounting for this. So we have a deferred COGS. This is the cost and the raw material inventory, which is credited. So if I show my Excel, so on the packing slip, so raw material is credited minus 899 and deferred COGS is 899. Okay, if I go to the invoice, And if I show you the voucher for this, so these are the transactions. So I copied all these here in my Excel sheet just to demonstrate so what's happening. So when, when we be doing the invoice, so this raw material which is credited, it's, it's cancelled here by debiting, and the debit is uh, here was debit and here it's credited. So the packing material transactions are being reversed at the time of invoicing. That's one thing. And the other thing is like uh, the sales is posted, which is uh, 1,000 USD, which is Definitely credit, so 1,000 is credit, and the account receivable which we need to get from the customer, it's separated, that's our asset, so it's 1,000, so that's one thing. And the other thing is like, uh, we credited the raw material 899, and the COGS, the cost, we debited with 899. So that's the, like, this is the transaction which we have right now in the system. And if I show you the inventory details of this item, so I'll go to the on hand, so this is the item, so I did this sales, let's see the warehouse, so the warehouse is 11. So warehouse 11, the on hand is 998. And if I go to the transactions, and the sales order is 2014. So this is 2014. One unit is sold at the cost of 899. So that's the that snapshot which we have as of now. Let's go to the sales and marketing and then start a sales return scenario. So I go to sales and marketing. Sales return. All sales return. New. The customer was US001. Warehouse 11. Like, okay. I need to choose the return, so it's defective, let's say. Okay. So I can enter the item, like if, if the customer calling the sales rep and then they're sharing a item number, we can add item number here, or we can find the invoice or the sales order for this customer. So we see like 2014, that's our sales order number 2014. And this is the invoice number. So we have lots of options here in order to search the item. So I'm saying like the customer is uh, returning this item one each. I'm saying okay. I'm sorry if my system is a little slow. Okay, so we created it. So since it's okay, so let's see what we have. So the return status is default is expected. So it means like the customer is uh, going to send back the item. But here we see the disposition code. If I click here, I see 21, the disposition code, which is credit only. Let's pick this. And we see like the return status is received. So when we choose this credit only, that means the customer don't need to send back the item. Okay, let's save it. Okay, so at this point, we we we, we don't need to send a return order to the customer. So I can show you, like, let's click this return order. When, when you, you say it, then you will be able to know. So there is no need to send it to the customer. Because the uh, customer is not sending back anything. So we just need to give the credit to the customer. That's it. And we don't need to create the RMA with the customer because the customer is not sending back anything. You see, there is no RMA number and nothing here. It's blank. It's nothing. So we, we don't need to send this blank sheet to anybody. But if I go to the header and uh, you see the RMA number, so RMA is uh, generated by this. Okay. And uh, the sales order is also created, which is 2035. So this is a 2014. So you don't need to do anything. You just save this, and uh, the status is open. The return status is the seat. So we need to go to the header, and this is the sales order. If I click this, system automatically created a sales order for me. So you see, like two zero three five, the same item. It's minus one, and uh, the price is one thousand. Everything is there. And if you go to the pick pack, so you don't see anything here because you, you're not going to get it back from the customer anything. So we will go to the invoice and generate the invoice. It, it will give the credit to the customer. I click that generate invoice button. And here, let's unselect these things. And I don't want to do the check of anything. And of course, it will not do anything. So I say, okay. Okay. Invoice is created. Let's go to the invoice. And first see the voucher of this. 
the system is doing like uh, giving the credit to the customer with full amount one thousand dollars. Then sale is reversed one thousand. And uh, the other things we we will see when we see the transaction. So the COGS is also reversed. And uh, let's go back. Go back one more time. So that was a 181. That was a return order which we created. The status is closed. The return status is moist. If I go to the header, you see the same sales order. Okay. So let's see the on hand for this item. You see, for the warehouse, it's the same 998. Nine which we've seen at the beginning. If I go to the transactions, and here you will see, so today is 7 seven. so there are two transactions here. The impact is like one is a uh, edit one time and one is deducted, so the net effect is nothing. So that's the uh, two lines which we see in the invoice watcher. So that's something uh, I try to show and I will cover the rest of the disposition code in a separate videos. If you have uh, any specific scenario which interests you, kindly add that in the comment section. So I will try to create a video for that. Thank you for watching.